Hello everyone, I'm Hobby Farm Guy Eric, here with the spotlight on a chicken breed you won't find in many backyard flocks, the Seabright. I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. Recently, we made a video about bantam chicken breeds, and we'll leave a link in the description below. There we talked about the difference between true bantams, those breeds where all birds are of the lightweight class, and miniatures, smaller strains of larger production breeds. One of the more popular true bantam breeds is the Seabright. So John Seabright was a developer of this breed and it took him over 30 years to achieve his goal, a bantam chicken breed with feathering the same in both hens and roosters. He was finally successful in 1800 and the Seabright breed that bears his name was born, making it one of the oldest British bantam breeds. The breed soon became popular in show chicken circles and was accepted into the American Poultry Association standard in 1874. Roosters weighing around 22 ounces and hens about 20 ounces. Two color variations are accepted, the silver laced and the gold laced, although other varieties have been developed. The Seabright has a full breast and short back with downward sloping wings. Their full tail fans out and stands upright at about 70 degrees. They sport a rose comb which ends in a straight upward spike. The plumage has a lace pattern edged in a contrasting black. One look at them and you can see why they are popular showbirds. They have little value as a production bird. Their small size means they don't make good meat birds and they only lay about one egg a week, one very small egg. Although they are fairly common in show circles, the lack of production use led to them being listed as threatened by the American Livestock Conservancy. But with most people keeping chickens as pets, there is hope this breed will see an increase in numbers. If you want to breed them though, they are known to be tough to hatch and breeding is best left to professionals. Seabrights tolerate confinement well, though they don't tend to do well in very hot or very cold environments. They are a spunky breed that's not very docile, but is not too aggressive either. Well, that's the Seabright, a popular true bantam breed for show and as a pet. If you have experience with the Seabright, or in that case, any true bantams, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you'd take a second, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, we would be very grateful. Until next time, happy hobby farming.